Served the Second Range Battalion, 1974 to 76. It was when it was activated. Uh, I was in Ranger School at the time. The First Battalion was being formed, and I um, uh, went to Ranger School twice. Got injured two times, and uh, First Battalion was trying to recruit me into the battalion, but I didn't want to go live in Fort Stewart, Georgia. I, I lived in uh, Portland, Oregon. And um, after my second uh, medical drop from Ranger School, I went to uh, Charlie Company Rangers, the aggressors for Ranger School, and that, where I met Captain Howard. And I tried to get in that unit, and he told me he was going to be the commander of Alpha Company at 2nd Ranger Battalion in Fort Lewis, Washington. And I didn't have any idea about that. And I said, wow, I didn't know there was one there. And he says, well, it's just starting up in a few days. So he told me where to go sign up. And I went down. And it uh, turns out I was, one of the, I was the first enlisted man to sign up and to show up there. And I got there. It was a sergeant major and Colonel A.J. Baker and, and myself. And uh, men started coming in a little at a time. We did, of course, we did PT every day. We were moving lockers around. We were uh, setting up the uh, the battalion area basically is what we started out doing. As more and more troops came in, we started getting more and more equipment. We got weapons. We started doing lots of road marches, a lot more PT, and we started doing some jumps. Those first couple years, we uh, we had uh, we went to Panama. Uh, we went to Coronado and got some uh, amphibious reconnaissance training, uh, scout swimmer training. And we went to Alaska prior to that for six weeks. and. Uh, and after that, uh, we came back and we went to Yakima for some desert type training. So in the first year and a half, we were still provisional, and but we were still getting some, you know, training in all different areas. It was it was a real exciting time. It was uh, one of the most thrilling times in my life. There was such a spree de corps, and uh, there had been a ranger company there at Fort Lewis, and uh, this battalion was going to be totally different. I mean, the, the other company had a history of getting in barroom fights and a lot of things like that. And, and they wanted a more professional, uh, elite ranger battalion, and the standards were going to be a lot higher, a lot stricter, and they were going to be kept. To set a standard, to keep a standard, and to look a certain way, act a certain way. Now, there had been some rangers left over from Vietnam, some. Uh, uh, guys who'd been in Vietnam and been in Ranger units, and and they were uh, they were a little bit different. They didn't want to, you know, do the high speed, uh, high uh, low haircuts and all that. Uh, they were sort of, you know, we've already done our thing, you know, don't uh, don't try and tell us type thing. But some of them came along. You know, it's where I grew up, 17, 18, 19 year old. Uh, Going into a ranger unit, it's like a family. Uh, it's different than the regular army. They're tight knit. They're all volunteer. They um, they're all a can-do attitude, and uh, you just don't find that anywhere else in the world where they cooperate and get along so well together and highly trained and constantly pushing all the limits. And we're told that there's a uh, uh, course standard or whatever for some school that we went to, uh, we always tried to exceed it.